I created a look using all matte shades and with a pop of glitter liner in my crease and if you would like to see how I created this look stay tuned So I'm starting off with my face already done. I have my foundation already there and I am beginning with the P. Louise base in Rumor 2. Yes, it has finally arrived. It was also a uh, part of her uh, winter collection. So I'm just adding that base onto the back of my hand and I'm also using the P. Louise brush as well that came in my set and I'm just adding that base all over my lid from the brow bone all the way to my lash line and blending it with my finger. So now that we have the base on the crease, this is the P. Louise palette, the Secret Center palette. And this was one of the gifts that I received for my birthday. So I decided to do a look with that and look at this amazing packaging. And this palette is very heavy, very sturdy. It has 18 matte shades. And let me just take off that plastic so I don't blind you. So I'm going in with this first shade in the palette, which is a deep purple it looks kind of brown on camera and I thought it was brown in person but it is a very deep plum purple shade so I'm just adding that in my crease and I'm just packing the color and I'm not blending just packing it in and now to blend it out I'm going to use this very bright pink shade called idolize and I'm going to use that in my crease just to blend out the purple So now that we have everything blended, we're going to cut our crease and I'm also using that same base, the P. Louise base and the same brush, that P. Louise brush as well. And I'm just going to carve out my lid. This is one of my toughest things with makeup is getting my eyes to look the same. And next I'm going to use this orange shade, well more of a peach, and it is in the shade Dreamy. And I'm going to pack that on the middle of my lid, straight down the middle. And this color is very bright and pigmented. And next I'm going to go in with this yellow shade. And I'm going to add that to the inner portion of my eye and this shade is called Climax. Now that shade just had a, just a little bit of fallout but nothing major. We can blend, brush that away. And I'm going back and forth with the yellow and the orange just to make sure that they have a nice transition into each other. And then next, I'm going to use this brown shade called Love Struck. And I'm going to add that to the outer portion of my eye. Now, I wanted the, the outer portion to be just a little bit deeper, so I could have used that purple. And I don't show you on camera, but I do mix the brown and the purple just to deepen it up. So now that our hair is all done, I'm going to spice up the look just a little bit and add a little bit of glitter liner in my crease. And this is just a random uh, glitter from Amazon. It came in a pack of 10 
for like maybe ten dollars or something and this is a P. Louise glitter it's a glitter pigment it comes in this little pot it also came in the collection as well and it's in the shade um, touch of seduction a pinch of subject seduction excuse me so here's where I think my look I kind of messed up a little bit I should have went in with a glitter primer but I didn't I will do that on the next look but I just add that in the inner portion and also on my brow bone and for my liner I'm using the Fenty liner just to line my eyes and then I'm also going to go back in with that P. Louise base and just add that to my bottom lash line so that the bottom colors can be more vibrant and pigmented and I go in with Love Struck and then I also blend out Love Struck with that orange shade Dreamy and for lips I'm using the Fenty Stunner lip paint in Uninvited and that is it that is the final look I do enjoy this palette I mean the, the quality of the shadows are amazing I had no trouble blending and I just want to zoom you in just so you can get a closer look also the lashes that I am using are from pretty girl lashes and they are in the style strong and now that we've come to the end of the video I hope that you have enjoyed and also subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos and I'll see you in the next one